This segment is sponsored by VCU Health. The doctor is in and you have questions. Current vaccines continue to offer tremendous protection against severe illness from COVID-19. Studies show though that the strength of these vaccines to prevent initial infection declines over time. Dr. Gonzalo Behrman, infectious disease expert with VCU Health, joins us to answer questions about the booster shot. It's good to see you, doctor. Good to see you too, thank you. Absolutely, there are questions about this booster. A lot of folks think, well, is the COVID-19 vaccine no longer working? Why should I get a booster? Well, the COVID-19 vaccine is working. It's working well to prevent severe illness, hospitalization, and even death. However, the vaccine is less effective, particularly for individuals who have not received a booster vaccine in preventing infection. So it's important at this time to look into getting a booster vaccine if one is eligible. Dr. Behrman, let's talk about the experience of getting the booster and what to expect. Are there any side effects with the booster shot? Well, the, the side effects of the booster vaccine are similar, are similar to the side effects of the original vaccine series. It's generally tenderness in the arm at the injection site, maybe some redness at the injection site, some fevers, uh, maybe a, a sense of feeling a headache and maybe some body aches. But those are generally mild and they go away within 24 to 48 hours and uh, probably synonymous with maybe what you experienced with your initial two injections if you had the two dose series. When's the best time to get that booster shot, Dr. Behrman? Well, now there's been a change in the recommendation. So if you're five months post your vaccine series, then you're really due for the booster. In addition, if you're age greater than 12 or older, of course, you're, you're booster eligible. For those who received the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, one is eligible for the booster after two months. Interesting. So we learn more about when those are available and when they're recommended. Is this something that we will continue with down the road? Will we continue with booster shots? Well, we'll have to wait and see. The epidemiology is evolving and it may it may result that we will need a once yearly vaccine, much like influenza. But getting back to the present, the booster vaccine is really important because with a boosted vaccine, the protection against Omicron could be as high as 75 percent compared to those who are not boosted but vaccinated, where it can be as low as 35 percent. So the boosters are critically important now. It really is. And this conversation is so interesting because if when you got your initial two doses and you think, well, that's it, I don't really need to get the booster, you highly recommend and advocate for getting the booster shot. Absolutely, because there's waning immunity or protection from the new variant, which is Omicron. So those, again, who are vaccinated uh, but not boosted can have protection around 35 to 40 percent now, not like it was before. But with a booster vaccine, protection against Omicron can go as high as 75 or even 80 percent. So it's critically important. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Dr. Gonzalo Behrman, for making time and talking with us here. We appreciate it. I'll share a little more information. You can visit vcuhealth.org to learn more. And stay with us. There's still much more Virginia This Morning coming up.